What's happening? What's happening? 392 Blur Lies coming back at you with another video. First time coming to the channel. Welcome to the channel. For everybody else, you know how we do it. You know how we rock. Hey, we back. We back from vacation. And now it's time to make something happen. As you can see. Yeah, I know you see them back there. Y'all better quit playing. See them jugs back there? We on our way to Water Elite. I need to uh, make a run to Lane Automotive. They're the only ones in our area. Of course, they ain't too close. They're a little ways away. They're the only ones in our area where I can get some 110 octane. So I'm on my way to Water Elite to go get this 110 octane. I'm gonna try my best to get this vehicle fired up this weekend. Now, you'll know if it fires up or not. <laughs> and it will be the first time firing it up in nine years. So, we're going to try to make this happen this weekend. I had to uh, I had to pick up some wire to finish up my wiring. I needed some, some four gauge wiring to uh, finish up my, my my cables. I needed to do a little bit of cable work. I would just put it like that. I need to do a little cable work. Uh, I've been checking all the, the forums, quite a few forums I've been checking into trying to find out what gauge wires were to be used. And um, I finally got all the information that was needful. So I'm going to try to get that taken care of this weekend so that I can get this car started up this weekend. That's the goal for the weekend. I want to get this car started up. Just giving you guys a heads up as to what the plan is. And um, I'm going to let you see where, uh, where we're going to get this racing fuel. I don't know if anybody is familiar with the area as to where Water Valley, Michigan is. But as I stated, that is the nearest to me that I know of that has 110 octane. And that's all I can burn in it. So it's not like I can mix it. That's, that's what it's gonna be burning. And from my understanding, I believe it's like $9 a gallon. <laughs> I really didn't know how much to get. I said, well, this trip, I'll go and I'll get 10 gallon. So I'm gonna pick up 10 gallon today. And um, next trip I make over there, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more. My, my goal is to get a 55 gallon drum and then just start filling up that drum and keep gas in it so that I always have gas. I won't have no reason not to be able to go cruising because I don't have gas. But I'm gonna get back with you guys in a little bit in a little while, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm get my mind on driving. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna get back with you guys as soon as I get to the place and I'll show you guys exactly what Lane Automotive looks like. If you don't know, you may have ordered parts from Lane Automotive. They are a big facility, they are big. Uh, I don't know if they're as big as Summit. I've been at Summit as well, the one down south. I believe that was Atlanta. I was in Atlanta or Georgia, somewhere down that way when I went to a summit down there and it was pretty big. But I do believe there is another summit in Texas. So I'm gonna let you guys see how big Lane Automotive is when I get there. So I'm gonna shut it off right here and uh, I'll be back. I gotta concentrate on what's going on. We got people up here driving 45 and a 55. So I gotta concentrate, see what they doing up here. I don't know what they're doing. All right, I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. Pace. All right, all right. We're um, getting ready to pull up here in lanes. Just right now, crossing under the 94 bypass. If you were to take 94, you could get here if you took the Water Valley exit. So, I'm going to turn it around here. All right. You can see right here is where we're pulling up in this place. Niles from here is 25 miles, Niles, Michigan. 
So this is this is the, the, the headquarters right here where uh, a lot of goodies are. I mean, a lot of goodies up in this place. A lot of people work here, a huge place. If you've never been here, it is definitely a place to come check out Lane's Automotive. See the sign out there. But it is a it is a pretty big facility here. And we just coming to get some fuel. And uh hopefully uh nobody is there, so I won't have to wait on nobody. So I'll just pull over here and then I'll walk inside and tell them what I need. But as you can see, this is, it, it, it is, it is a, definitely a big, a big place. It's definitely big. But I'll park out here and then I'll walk inside. See if I can get somebody to come out here and hook a brother up. I don't think that um I don't think that the pricing of the fuel is out here on the pumps. I really don't. No, I doubt that it is. But it is definitely 110 octane. Turn it around here. Let's just see what we're walking into here. Like I said, if you have never been to Lane Automotive, this is definitely a big, big place here. It's definitely big. I come here often to get stuff that I need. If I don't order it, I just come here and get it. But I don't know if they want, I don't know if they want. Let me just see what's going on up in here. Walk in, they got heads over here. Advertising heads. They always got a different little ride up in here. Guineas. All right, we're gonna see if we can get what we need to get and get on the pot here, because I need to get on back so I can get to work. But yeah, this place is definitely, used to have a lot more stuff before COVID had hit, but I see they got a lot of stuff that they don't have that they used to have. But it's, it's pretty much just like if you were to go to Summit, you see about the same things that you would see if you would go to Summit. So I guess when you've seen, when you've seen one, you've seen them all. And this is kind of where I got the idea from the color that I wanted to paint mine. I got to paint it that color. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut you guys down and we're going to come back a little bit later on. I'm going to get what I got to get and get up out of here. Transmission cooler. I like that. Man, man, is that right? Is that price right? Whoa. My goodness. All right. Now I know we're going to shut you guys down. That might have just turned you off from wanting to come here. All right, I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Peace. All right, all right. We back. We walking out here. We walking out here. See if we can't get them to come out here, meet me out here and get this fuel. 
I went in there, get 10 gallon. 10 gallon. Now, I knew that it went up. I knew it went up. But, uh, <laughs> this ain't no cheap hobby, boys and girls. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what this 10 gallon run me. That's 10 gallon. That's 10 gallon right there. $12.99 a gallon. <laughs> so, so boys and girls, so boys and girls, if uh, if you're um, if you're looking to to get into this, I I would I would probably recommend um, gold pump gas. <laughs> hey, keep 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 your compression down, and uh, you won't be spending twelve ninety nine a gallon. What what did the, the gas go up or what? <laughs> Oh man! Oh my goodness! <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I don't. I don't think my brother realized how much has gone up. He, we thought that it was around like nine a gallon. Uh -huh. Oh man, yeah. twelve ninety nine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Of course, they got the 112 in here as well. They got 112, they got 110. You can see, they got, they got the 112 octane. And you can see, I'm doing the 112. But if you, if you want to burn the good stuff, you're going you're going to pay to play. That's, that's a guaranteed fact. So you guys don't uh, open up on Saturdays anymore, huh? COVID just kind of try to mess everything up. Oh, yeah. It's nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> Here's this one for you, man. All right. All right. Appreciate you, sir. Yeah, no problem, man. So you got to get the good stuff. Don't want to, don't be driving with that stinky stuff. Yeah. You know, that's one thing about uh, about these cars. When you burn this, it smells so much better than regular gas. Oh, yeah. It's just got a smell of its own. But you gotta have, you gotta have it if you got some high, high compression. Oh yeah. All right, there you go, sir. All right, I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Yes, indeedy. I'll let you get on back to work. <laughs> Thank you, my sir. You too. Right there, boys and girls. You're going to pay to play. You're you going to pay. You're going to pay to play. And that's, that's, just, that's just what it is. Young man come out here. Out here in the cold. Probably like, what is he buying this fuel for? And here it is wintertime. Little does a brother know, hey, I'm trying to get this thing fired up. My goodness. Wait. Man, hey, hey. It is what it is. $12.99 a gallon. <laughs> oh my God. Man, what am I doing? What am I doing with what 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 am I what is going on here? That's that's what it costs for 10 gallon with that compression I'm running. Oh my goodness. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is, and as I said, you you gonna pay if you want to play. And, and that's just that's just what it is. I ain't no ain't no ain't no getting around it. And it, it, it's just gonna keep going higher. It's gonna get even higher than that. But I know one thing: there's people paying more than I'm paying for it. So I'm I'm just I'm just out here on the street. I ain't I'm not going to the track every weekend, burning up two hundred dollars a weekend. No, nah, I'm not doing that. They can keep that noise, but. We got what we needed. 
we on our way back. And uh, what is it? Four o'clock. I should be back around 4.30. Somewhere around there. But that's the place to come. Right there. Lane Automotive. Come get your goodies right here at Lane. And that is 94 right there. 94 West, 94 East. If you take East from right here, it takes you to Detroit. You take West, take it to Chicago. All right. We're going to get on our way back. And uh, we're going to get back with you boys and girls a little later on. And uh, within the next... I'm going to say next few minutes that you see I should be getting ready to fire this thing up. First, I got to get back home. All right. I'll get back with y'all a little later. Peace out. All right. All right. All right. We back. We back to the crib. Hey, you know what? This is a whole different day. Not only a different day, but it's a different week. Not only a different week, it's different weeks. Weeks have gone by <laughs> since that last since that last clip, but we're here. We're here now and um, we're gonna get something done. What I had to do today. Now you saw yesterday in yesterday's video, got my dry shaft in. So hey, now there's a few more things I need to do. Just a few. Oh, hold on, hold on. Don't change the channel yet. I only got a few more things to do, hold on. I need to put in some rear differential oil. That's one thing that I had not done. I said yesterday in the other video that I was gonna put in my transmission fluid. I didn't do that yesterday. So I'm going to put in my rear differential oil today and I'm gonna put in my transmission fluid today and I'm gonna put in my engine coolant today. And after I get all that done, all that out of the way, Y'all hear them Red Bull cans falling? That wind, that wind raises some havoc. So, as I was saying, after I get all that done, I'm going to give Brother Pomp a call and see if he's ready. <laughs> see if he's ready to get this thing fired up. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started on this. I'm going to jack this thing up again. So, that means I got to get back up under it one more time. Boy, I hate that. But I'm gonna get up under it one more time. Get this Lucas high, heavy duty, high performance gear oil put in this rear end, and we're gonna we just gonna keep it moving. We just gonna keep it moving, and and let's let's forget that there's been a whole two three weeks ago in the clip before this clip. All right, let's get this started. All right. So as I stated earlier. We're going to be putting in some Lucas heavy duty, high performance, 80W90 gear oil, trans and diff lube. I did look this up, but well not so much as look this up, but I looked as far as what was recommended for an eight and three quarter um, rear end, Mopar rear end. And this is what the forum people were using this. This is. The majority of what people are using was this here, so I decided I'm gonna go with it as well. Um, it's supposed to take 2.2 quarts. This is one quart. I have, I bought three of them. Uh, get these at AutoZone. You're gonna spend approximately about $12.50 per quart. So look to spend at least for three, 40 bucks. Uh, they say that you can get by with just using two of them but I'm gonna put as much as I can in the rear differential. And um, hey, we're gonna button it up. So we're gonna get up under this thing. I thought I was gonna have to jack it up, but it's up high enough where I can get up underneath it without having to jack it up. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna see if we can't get these in, in this rear end. And then we're gonna move on to the transmission and we're gonna move on to the radiator. And we're just gonna keep it moving. So hang out with me for a little while and let's, let's go ahead and knock this out real quick fast and in a hurry. 
Okay. Being that this stuff is pretty rank, I would put something down just in case because we gotta, we're gonna fill it up to where it's just running out of the bottom of the bolt hole. So there's gonna be a little bit that's gonna ooze out. But first we know we're gonna put at least a quart in it before that even, at least two quarts in before that even happens. completely dry so it's definitely going to take the full two quarts guaranteed I don't know how fast this is going to squeeze out so I am I'm going to try to squeeze it out and not too fast because I don't want it to start coming out because I'm trying to squeeze it in too fast Yeah, this is one of the last things that I was gonna do because I knew it wasn't being moved, it wasn't being driven, so I wasn't gonna hurt the gears at all in the rear end. No more than it has been moved without anything in it. It does have a little bit of grease on the gears from when they assembled it. But other than that, I knew it wasn't gonna be hurt in any way, shape, or fashion without having the gear oil in it at that particular time. Okay, that's one down. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can get another one in it. So if it's supposed to take 2.2 quarts, I'm definitely gonna put some more in it. I wanna make sure that it has plenty in it. They do say that two quarts is enough. But is it really enough? That's just somebody's own philosophy as to two point, uh, just regular two quarts would be enough. That's all you want to run in yours. That's what you can run in it. But if it if it's recommended 2.2, 2, that's what it's going to get. So it's right there at the top, actually. If I can, if I can draw that back up, it must be right there. So that means I won't be putting much in it before it starts coming out. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely feel. I'm gonna definitely come to where it's starting to come out because that's about 
the middle of the rear end with the middle of where the gears pretty close to the middle of where the gears would be that's exactly how high i'm going with it i'm not going to put less i'm going to make sure i got plenty all right let me go grab one more all right just enough to where it's starting to creep out not gonna squeeze it too hard at all just till I see it starting to ooze out a little bit we're gonna put the plug on it should be getting pretty close there it is right there right there That ain't straight. That's straight. All right, tight enough. She ain't gonna come out. All right. Oh, that's brake fluff from when I was bleeding brakes up. So I figured, what is that? So I know we ain't got no leaks. They not got no leaks. lid on that joker and uh, I think that should be good for that all right that didn't take very long boys and girls let's move on to the tranny All right, all right, we made our way up to the front side. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab this ATF and uh, see if we can't quench the thirst. But um, before I do that, before I do that, I think I'm gonna quench my thirst. It must be time for a cold snack. So if you haven't done it yet, Go ahead and make your way. Make, make your quick plan. Make your way. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I'll wait for you. Go ahead. You know what time it is. Go get your snack. Get your snack. Hurry back. Hurry back. While you go get yours, I'm, I'm going to run and go get my cold snack. And uh, we're going to meet right back here together. So go ahead. Get that taken care of right now. Go. Go. <laughs> Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, glory, glory, glory. Oh, yes. All right, got your cold snack? Got your chips? Got your, your goodies? All right, let's get started. All right, now, as you can see, I went with 
super tech. Now, don't pay so much attention to the brand super tech. Pay attention to the type F. That's what's recommended in these older transmissions. Don't get the Mecron. No, I'm not going to say that. You get what you want to get. It's, it's, it's your carriage. Whatever you want to put in your carriage, you put in your carriage. But upon all the research, we don't want nothing synthetic. We want type F. And what I found out, this is actually for Fords. It's for Fords, but it's recommended for these older transmissions. 70s, early 80s. That's what this is recommended for. So if you want to put something in your stuff to where you're going to get the right shifts, this is what you want. Because the, Mex the Mectron, the Dextron, that stuff has additives in it for smoother shifts. When you're dealing with these cars, they, done, they, they, they may have a shift kit in them. So when that baby, when this shift, what's it doing? Boom, boom, boom. It's, it's not a... It's not a smooth shift, it's, it's a hard shift. Don't pay attention to the brand. Pay attention to what type it is. That's what's important. Now, you can get this at Walmart if you can find it. The cheapest place you're gonna find this is at Walmart. Now, I think I spent five, five dollars and some change per quart. Now, if you can get lucky, you can get more than four at a Walmart. But nine times out of ten, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to search them out because I had I had I had to go through one, two, three, four. I had to go to four WalMarts just to get nine quarts. So good luck with that one. But that's what we're putting in it. We're going to put the Super Tech Type F automatic transmission fluid in this 904. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, my goodness. That's a bad boy. All right. Enough playing Tilly Winks. Let's see if we can get this fluid in here so we can um, keep it moving. Daughter just got home from school. Says she gotta go to work. So that means I'm gonna have to cut down on my time and take her to work. Or she gonna drive and then I'll just have to drive back. But other than that, let me see if I can go ahead and get this dumped in here. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many this is gonna take. It's got a little deeper transmission pan on it, but I end up getting nine quarts. So I will put in at least, I'm gonna put in at least probably eight. I don't know. Torque converter, it's gonna have to have some as well. So. I don't know how many it's going to take. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, but let's see if we can get this down in here. Mm, bone dry. <laughs> All right. Now, they do give you a, a little filter, a little funnel. You call it a funnel to put your transmission fluid in if you see how little this is it look like it's gonna take forever so let me go ahead and get that little funnel and see if we can't get this in there like I said it's probably gonna take forever considering that it's not gonna be able to breathe yeah it's gonna take forever this is what they give you when you buy those so we're gonna just maybe maybe We'll put this on the end. Maybe. I don't think. Oh, that's some hard. That hard plastic won't even give. Maybe I'm not going to get that on there. Oh, my goodness. This is going to take a minute. Let me see. Time to um, use a little ingenuity. I wonder. I just wonder if I can heat that up a little bit with my torch just enough
or maybe whittle the end of this funnel a little bit. Oh my goodness, I'll tell you. <laughs> Ain't that something? See, that's the size I need right there. Wait a minute now. Hold up. What kind of action we got here? Is this going to work? Nope. Good grief. Thought I was on to something. Will that work? Oh, oh, look out here. Oh, oh. Nope, that ain't gonna work either. <laughs> I thought I had something going on. You see, I didn't. Oh my goodness, really? Just drop down in there. I'll reach down there and pick you up. Oh, brother. I think I'm gonna get my torch and see if I can't put a little heat on this and maybe, just maybe I can soften that plastic up enough to get that down in there. I don't, I don't know. First, I'll see if I can't. Do a little whittling. Just maybe I can get this little rough edge off here to where it'll get started. If I can get it to start in it, after battle's won. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. All right. Let's see what we got here. Go boys and girls. See how easy that went on there? Like butter. Just like butter. Now let's see if it's gonna accept it without pouring it all over the place. That's the next question. Is it gonna receive it without getting any air? Please don't give me no problems. Yeah, this is gonna take forever. Maybe not. Oh, I saw a little drip. I saw a little drip. Let's 
just leave this down in there in case she wants to drip some more. Look at this little drippy thing. Just look at this. Mickey Mouse mess. Ever trying to get these down in here and I'm not gonna waste you guys time watching me pour them all down in here so I'm gonna get back to y'all as soon as I get these quartz in there cuz it's gonna take a minute don't go far all right so far I got four quartz in Put in another two real quick. Come to find out after I got the calculating and looking at how many I have, I end up getting 12 quarts. So, it took, it took one, two, three, four, four Walmarts to get 12 quarts of transmission fluid. Go figure. So we're gonna just keep it moving. It's it's not going too bad. I, I, I found a trick, uh, a way of doing it to where it's it, it, it's flowing pretty good. I know one thing. This this stuff stinks. When I say it stinks, it doesn't smell like regular transmission fluid. Mm. It smells like manure. <laughs> and when I say that, I mean that's exactly what it smells. It smells like cow manure. It smells like manure. I'm not saying it to be any other way. I'm just, I'm just saying that's what it smells. It smells like man smell. It smells just like manure. I don't, when I was pouring it, I'm, I'm smelling the smell. I'm like, man, uh, they're not putting nothing on fields. I was thinking somebody might have been spreading some on the field. They ain't spreading nothing. That's just the way this stuff smells. It smells bad. So hopefully it might, it might work good. Hopefully it works better than it smells. I still got yet to call Brother Pump. I think I'm gonna give him a call after I take my daughter to um, work. After I get back or I'll call him on my way back and maybe he can meet me out here and see if we can't get this thing fired up. Cause the plan is to fire it up today. If we don't get it fired today, we'll fire it tomorrow. But I'd like to get it fired up today. I like watching grass grow right here. Okay, that's number five. Stinky stuff. Ah, still a bad boy. Getting closer. Getting closer. Okay. There's six.
I'm not even sure how many I should put in here before starting it up. Seven? From what I looked at, I was reading something and it said eight. I think it was eight to ten quarts. Not exactly sure. Does anybody know? I don't. Not, not, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, I know it's going to take more than six. I do know that much. Let me, um, let me see if it's even registering on the dipstick. Just to, just to see if it's any any in any inclination as to whether or not it's doing anything we just stick that down in there and just see what we come up with maybe i maybe i can see something on it maybe i don't know saying that it's full but I know there's nothing in the um, torque converter so I'm gonna stop there at six quarts when we get it started up then we'll be concerned with as to how much is in it because we know that it's got to go into the torque converter there's some in the torque converter I know there's some there's got to be some in it because he couldn't have drained it out so there's got to be something in it, but how much, I have no idea. So I'm going to stop there at six quarts, and then I'll look to put more in it if, it if it's necessary after cranking it up and getting it circulating through, going to all the places that it has to go. Oh, matter of fact, I'm glad I thought about this. I'm going to stop and see if I can get a fitting. I need to get a fitting. Uh, for this radiator for the overflow it comes off from a 3 eighths to a 5 sixteenths so yeah I need to I need to look to get a, a little rubber hose three uh, 5 sixteenth hose and a 3 8 hose to put on this for my overflow but other than that, hey, what time is it? I got to take her to work, so I'm going to be back, and uh, we just going to keep it moving. So, hey, I'll be back. <laughs> Peace out.